you want to get into a yeah, Lara's dragonfly. This car. Man. So she bought this car in, from Cali. Okay. Um, you, know, you know a guy named Andrew? He transport, transports cars. Um, I don't recall. He, uh, I'm not sure. uh, his little brother, his little brother, Andrew. He transports cars, drives a semi. Okay. Um, so Andrew went to Ohio to pick up my 39. Mm -hmm. And then when I found this for sale, I, I think it was on Marketplace on Facebook. Um, I was like, yo, you want to go to Cali and pick up a car like San Diego? He's like, I'll go. You talk about fast. He just haul ass over there and come straight back. I don't even think he went to sleep. He just, he A to B, came back. Went there, picked it up. Uh, so we bought this car because of what's in the trunk. Uh, we love the interior. We love the color. It had artilleries at first. And it had an original straight six. Uh, okay. Well, not, a, not original because it had a 250, but uh, it was automatic. Okay, gotcha. And uh, after Laura was diagnosed with cancer, she um, everything on this car was mechanical, so she couldn't, she couldn't, she was weaker like as far as driving goes. Right, right. So she couldn't turn, she couldn't pump the brakes, mm -hmm. you know, like mechanical cars do. Right, right. So she switched everything. So the whole drivetrain on this car is the G body, 1980. Okay. Everything. Dang. Front, and back, uh, not the brake booster, or the steering column, because they're mm -hmm. from you know like Summit, mm -hmm. Chrome, steering column, Chrome brake booster. But uh, it's got disc brakes in the front, power steering, power oh, brakes. Uh, what else? A Chevy, uh, like a 93 Chevy Suburban motor, a 350. Okay, cool. 700 R transmission. And then she put airbags. So she bought this car from Cali. Couldn't drive it. So she redid the whole drivetrain, mufflers, everything. Rewired the car. Put air ride. And now you can just get in it and go. That's, that's awesome. There's a lot of people that drive bombs that, you know, like original, scared to take them apart. It's original, all this bullshit. And to me, I don't like driving shit original. It's gotta be, you know what's funny? I don't like G-bodies. Uh -huh. And the whole, everything, <laughs> everything on, on it is a G-body. Body. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like shout out to all the G bodies out there. <laughs> I love G bodies that are done right. I just I didn't grow up around G bodies. Oh, really? Nobody I knew had them, mm -hmm. you know. And the people that did have them, I wasn't even driving yet. I'm on a Laura bike. All the teenagers, okay, like today, everybody got Charger, Challenger, Camaro. Well, back in the day, everybody had Cutlass, Regal, Monte Carlo on 13s and 14s. Mm -hmm. um, I was riding my bike, people rolling like that, and then, but everybody in my hood had Impalas and Bombs. You know, nice, like, that's right. what I know. That's what I grew up around. Right. My first car was an Impala. Nice. Uh, Wish I could say the same. Man. <laughs> I used to ride my Laura bike to make payments on my first car. That's like, cool. Cheap. That's cool. That's crazy. Like, you can't. Yeah, now you got to deposit your arm. Yeah. And maybe another down payment with the leg. <laughs> my, my, my first car was a Super Sport Impala 65. Um... Uh, like, I don't know, I guess it was flaked out, but it was real faded, all oh, fucked up. Mm -hmm. Like, flaked out red, fucking diamond tuck interior red, uh, McLean's, like the 59, uh -huh. $2,000. Dang. Running and driving, just get in that bitch and go. Like, $2,000. You can't find that shit no more. Oh, no, uh-uh. So the, uh, the guy that, I don't, the guy that we bought this from, I don't think he actually built the car, but he did the interior. Uh, okay. I think it's called Escondido Upholstery. Escondido Upholstery. Which is... Escondido, I think that's the name of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in, like, right outside San, San Diego. San Diego? Yeah. Let's check out that interior. And I think his trademark is pillows in the back seat. Because I've seen it on some other cars that he had. Ah, I see. Ah, that's so clean and smooth. Looks better than the couches I have at home. The funny thing is you sit in it, it feels like a couch. Yeah. But those are real comfortable. Nice and plush. Like that, uh, this to the, uh, microphone shifter. Microphone shifter, yeah. Uh, I got that idea from a, a Oldies music video. 
you know, you get on YouTube and you uh, you just listen to oldies, you look at the videos. Right. Sometimes they have like cholos and cholas and not really a video playing, but it's like a picture. Right, yeah, yeah. I saw that microphone on the same dash, the original stereo in the video. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's sweet. That's smooth. I like the touch. Everybody thinks it's standard, but it's automatic. Get some cool little B-rolls. Y'all enjoy these next few shots. Here we go, Mark Steady TV. We did the uh, pinstriping. Okay. So whoever pinstriped it, pinstriped the, uh, the Thermidor, the car, and the suitcase. They all go together. Nice. Get some cool little B-rolls. Y'all enjoy these next few